to say that uh, we have been doing and we will continue to do everything possible to avoid an armed conflict. But as uh, uh, the, the first questioner said, that uh, the situation is a, a grave one. And um, all along the borders, uh, troops uh, have been uh, brought closer to the border on the other side, with the result that naturally, in the interest of our own defense, uh, we had to also uh, look to our interests. What is there to discuss? between India and Pakistan. As you know, the problem is not an Indo-Pakistan problem. The problem is between the military regime of West Pakistan and the people and the accepted elected representatives of the people of Bangladesh. Any solution which is found must satisfy the people of Bangladesh and, as I said, they're the people whom they elected uh, not too long ago to represent them. ...to the United Nations formally sending observers. Well, because we see no need for them. Uh, the, what is the purpose of their coming here? here? It is said that they will come and see why the refugees are not returning. Now, it seems to me rather a ridiculous question when every day 35,000, 40,000, 42,000 are coming. But this is the reason why they, they're not returning. And quite honestly, if you put yourself in a situation where you have escaped uh, in the face of um, uh, to avoid atrocity, to save your life, and sought shelter, and are living in the most difficult condition, not at all in comfort of any kind, well, you can only go back if you're convinced that the situation has changed. But when more people are coming with the same sort of atrocity stories, you can't possibly go back. So the first thing for the United Nations, if it wants to do anything, is to see that conditions are created in Bangladesh, within Bangladesh, which will guarantee the return of the refugees in safety and dignity. 